Welcome back to another tutorial of GeoPackage in the GIS World Academy. In this short video, I'm gonna tell you how to create a special table in GeoPackage, how to create the foreign key of non-special table based on the primary key of the special table, and finally, how to transfer data from special table to non-special table. If you are excited, let's get started. So, the first thing you should create one non-special or no, no geometry table. So, it's very easy. Just, we should go to our geo package. There are a lot of ways, but this is the most easiest way and I really like it. So, it's a table and then I will use the OSM because I want to transfer some features and some attributes from the OSM, the the data that we downloaded from the OSM and just attach it to the non-special table. So it should be started with the OSM building attribute. So please accept it from my side. Uh, there are a lot of best practices for naming a table in the PostgreSQL or also in the GeoPackage or such a thing. If you search, you can find it. For example, this is one of them, Dunder, and also this if this part is a category of your tables and such a things. But please accept this because a lot of frameworks that will help us to prepare and design the conceptual model of the database, we will have some namings, for example, like buildings and after it, when they are converting everything to the lower case. Uh, for example, one of the frameworks is the Django, and you know that in the Python, if you are defining a class, everything should be like this, okay, attribute. But anyway, it's not right now our topic. This is in our advanced tutorial in the near future. Okay, so the first thing, the first column that I want to add is the GML ID. The correct naming of that, it should be starting with the table name. So what is the table name? It is the building, this part of our naming. And after that, the GML ID. So it means that it, it will shows the primary key and foreign key. Yeah, but because I want to copy paste the information from one table to another, I need that the column names exactly should be same. So I will I will keep it as Gmail ID and I will change it later. Definitely should be text and I will change it to 256. I will add another one as a usage. So we will we will enhance it in our future again tutorial a little bit more advanced i want to keep it as simple as possible so in that case you should uh, create that time so in that case you will be familiar with the concept of what we are doing modified time okay so in the future we will have we will just working with the numbers so we have a data dictionary according to the feature type feature category we will filtering different type of value we will working on the value maps and you will see the power of geo package in these things but right now i don't like it and it's not a professional to save the description but i will do that just for this tutorial but it is not for the production okay i will just open it and then i will just add it to the project where is my browser oh, sorry layers i will bring it out i need one group i need it here i will rename it to os m attribute okay then uh, again, it is the OSM, but uh, maybe I change it for another tutorial, but I don't know why I named it like this. Okay, now it's better OSM than parcel. Okay, now it looks really good. Now I will import Maybe zoom to layer, it's fine. Now I will add, um, I will add my data from the OSM that we downloaded in our previous tutorials. Uh, I think it was in a 
OSM, how to download data from the OSM. So I want to add a vector layer. So just I want to add this building shape file. I will add it there. Definitely it shouldn't be here. I will name it as a other. Mm -hmm. And I will add it there. I will rename it to the other. So other building. Yeah, I think it is really nice right now. So perfect. Maybe we can take a look at the informations and I will explain you what we want to do right now. So here, this is our information. And also here is our data. So the first thing now, the aim of this tutorial is transferring all these values from the building. For example, all these apartments or such a things to here. The first thing we should create the GML ID that it should match. So I will duck it. Again, I will open the OSM that should match with this GML ID. Okay, we will do that. I will select all of them. And after that, where is, where is the copy? Copy selected rows to the clipboard. So I will copy them. Maybe I can also duck it somewhere. And then here, activate editing mode. And after that, paste it there. Okay, great. Uh, I think I forgot to change the type of them. Yeah, but, but anyway, it's not important. So here I have a Gmail ID. I will save it. So, okay. Yeah, it, 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 it was my fault. The type of them, it is not, I think, time, date, and time. But we will we'll correct it later. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, so now we transfer, we prepared our Gmail ID in this column. So I will close it, close, close everything. And also this one. And I will deselect everything. Maybe I can save the project so in case of any crash or such a things we have our saved project okay uh, i will open this one and then i have the field so you can see that these two fields are not correct so just i will delete them and just i will save them so maybe i can just add two new columns created time uh, but but maybe we can do it after the transferring the usage yeah okay so here is the gmail id as i have already told you maybe we can change it to the oh, oh uh, yes building gmail id because i have already transferred everything save apply okay so take a look at the table yeah it looks really nice. So I have my building Gmail ID. Now it's time to transfer the information from these other buildings to the to the building attribute. So the thing that we can do, I think all of you has already know that point on the surface and why I don't use the centroid. So other buildings run. So I have my points. Point should be here yes and after that i will just go to the layer ordering i will up the point it looks really nice and after that I think select something oh join attribute by location so i want to connect osm building to the point intersect one too many everything is fine so maybe we can just check the number of the buildings should match the, uh, exactly so we don't have any duplicate data so just now maybe we can just check to be sure that everything is fine so the building gml id it's perfect and also building should have a value okay now it's very easy just we should go to the osm then join just open it with the joint layer 
GMLID building, you, you see that now it's the meaningful. Now it is the now with this type of the naming for everyone, and it doesn't matter. It is you are working in a big project, so with your naming, all the developers, all the geospecialists, everyone knows that how you are working. Everyone who has already worked with the data, and it doesn't matter, they are from the GIS board or IT or software developer, backend developer, and so on. So join fields, we will go to the building, and always please think about the development. And so your job, it shouldn't be the, it shouldn't be the last person. It, always it should be developed. And also joint layer, it's fine. And if, you know that's why I have already changed it because if you have any space there, and even you when you want to write, a, so QJS cannot predict it automatically. Okay, I think so. This type of the naming should be a standard of the Postgres. Yeah. Okay. And I think that everything is fine. Okay. Then I will open it. Yeah, perfect. You can see it. Everything is there. Now I will just transfer the information from this column to this one. Then I will go to the usage of the building. And you see that when I'm ready to join, it's done. Finish. Yes. Everything is transferred. Okay. Okay. And then I will go to the join part. And uh, how can I deactivate it? Yeah, perfect. Then I think I don't need the other part. So I will remove them and where is my save button. So before uh, joining, maybe uh, maybe I can just add this created time and modify time. So created time. So don't, I don't want to make a same mistake now. Okay. After that, I need another time. So, mighty find. So, I I really want to really like to do everything by Python, but right now it's fine. In that case, if you are doing it with the Python modify time and created time, it's exactly the same thing. So, I will save it. I hope we don't have any crash or such a things or perfect. Then yes. It, it looks really nice. Here we have our building Gmail ID and usage. Now it's time to connect building. So in that case, exactly OSM. And after that, building Gmail ID and Gmail ID. The only column that I need to see is the usage. And uh, maybe we can also, yeah, everything is fine. Then apply. Okay. After that, building. Let me see. Maybe we can also maybe we can reorder something and building usage after maybe that area. It, it is very good. So yeah, it's fine. Now you can understand what I mean by having a separate table. You can see you can just combine them and maybe in the next tutorial I will talking about the views and then you can see that you have a virtual table. It contains the connection of two or three or more tables and then in any of them, any updates, it will appear in the video. Okay, now I think it's enough for this tutorial and again if you have any questions don't forget to comment it in the comment section below see you all bye